uh, my Special Forces Infantry Unit went to the border. Um, the entire night sky was, was lit up with explosions, deafening explosions, as the Air Force and the artillery bombarded the village. We were going into a small village with the purpose of uh, identifying and demolishing a tunnel that was going into Israel. We were only a few kilometers in. We weren't very deep in. We were trying to secure an area for these engineers to demolish the tunnels. We pulled out. Um, and uh, right after we pulled out, the Air Force came and demolished, obliterated uh, almost the entire neighborhood that we were in. So you had your experience, uh, Benzi, in 2014. This is going to be altogether of a different magnitude, more civilian deaths, more threats to Israeli soldiers. I mean, it's, it's already multiple orders of magnitude worse. I mean, you know, something like three times as many Palestinians have already been killed uh, through these bombing campaigns uh, as there were killed in the entire 2014 uh, uh, war. And we haven't even began the, 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 the ground invasion. Um, Hamas is stronger. That's just a fact. Hamas is stronger, even though we fought them and, we, you know, I, 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 uh, I believed during that fighting and with our sacrifice and all the destruction that we wrought in Gaza, that we had dealt, dealt them uh, a decisive blow. Uh, but that was just not true. Is it possible, do you think, to wipe out Hamas? Um, the Israeli government has said after this appalling terror attack, we will wipe out Hamas. Is that possible? I think the only way, I think this government is incapable of doing it unless there is a dramatic, axiomatic shift uh, in our approach towards Palestinians. We approach towards Palestinians, they can just be controlled, we can just keep them indefinitely under military occupation, deny them rights, deny them freedoms, the same ones that we cherish for ourselves, they don't have. And it's not about security, it's about ideology. We're ideolog ideologically committed to controlling the entire land of Israel exclusively for the Jewish people. And, uh, but there will be many Israelis who simply want revenge on Hamas for this hideous attack. That will only strengthen them even if we dismantle and, and are able to defeat the, the, the physical terrorist organization Hamas, we will be strengthening the idea of violent resistance because the only way to defeat the idea of violent resistance is to create an alternative and to work towards an alternative, one that our government is fundamentally opposed to. So this government can't defeat Hamas. So you think it will, in effect, radicalize a gener another generation of, of young Palestinians? Uh, of course. Of course. We're just killing them, and we don't provide any alternative. We're keeping them under a debilitating siege. They're running out of fuel. They're running out of drinking water. What do you, what do you think that you, you know, Hamas is a terrorist organization. They've already proven that they can murder babies, and we're saying it's on them to save the lives of the, the, the Palestinian infants in the, in the NICU, in the hospital, it's up, to th it's up to them. You think they care? They just murdered babies, and we're denying that we're creating this horrific hu human conditions. What do you think the people in Gaza are going to think about us after what we're doing now? We have to create an alternative. We want to defeat Hamas. We have to uh, turn the Palestinian public against them. But how do you do that? In the light of the terror attack, um, how do you do that? What is the process? Where is the process that uh, doesn't include Hamas? Where is the process? Well, we have to start force. We have to stop forcibly expelling Palestinians from their homes in villages in the West, throughout the West Bank. We have to crack down on settler violence, and we have to say out loud that we're committed towards a peaceful, negotiated solution with Palestinians, in which they achieve freedom, achieve independence, and achieve the 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 uh, the independence. Um, and rights that we cherish so dearly for ourselves. What are your fears for the next uh, few days and weeks? You know, I fear, um, I fear for, for Palestinian civilians who are being uh, relentlessly bombed. I fear for um, citizens of Israel who are uh, vulnerable to escalations on multiple fronts because of this, this war. I feel for uh, many, many friends uh, and, and, and loved ones are... Your brother's going yeah, in? I hope not. But, um, you, know, uh, um, you know, obviously, um, this, uh, the, the tragedy is that no matter what we do, we won't be able to defeat the idea of, of, uh, that Hamas represents, the ideology that it represents of armed resistance, unless we try to create an alternative. And I really believe that this government is incapable of doing that. Benzi, thank you very much indeed. Sure thing.